what's happening in the world. Today's November 22nd. My name is Reagan, and here are your past week's headlines. We'll start off with Kyle. Oh, Kyle. I guess you can go around wielding semi-automatic tactical firearms and murdering people in the street and get away with it across state lines. Remember, we were originally provinces that united to have one federal government. So I guess this is okay, right? It's okay, right? Hundreds of protesters took to the streets over the course of the weekend, and there was a riot declared in New York City. California gas prices hit a new record on Monday at $4.68. Then it sort of fell because Xi and Biden worked something out, maybe? Another highlight was Biden signed the infrastructure bill, and it went to the Senate, though we're not sure the likelihood of it passing there and it's also considerably less than what he originally proposed. Is he happy with that? Are you happy with that? <clears throat> but it doesn't change the fact that we're happy with our agency. Are you? You're happy with 50%. You're on top and you don't have enough. You're happy because you're successful for now. But what is happiness? It's a moment before you need more happiness. I won't settle for 50% of anything. I want 100%. You're happy with your agency? You're not happy with anything. You don't want most of it. You want all of it. And I won't stop until you get all of it. Did you know that 40% of college students suffered internet outages during the pandemic? That's how bad our internet lines are. Austria announces a lockdown for unvaccinated people and three snow leopards at the Lincoln Children's Zoo in Nebraska have died from complications resulting from COVID-19, zoo officials announced Friday. Engineers in Japan have achieved a record-breaking internet speed of 319 terabits per second. That's about 7.6 million times faster than the average home internet speed in the US. To achieve this speed, researchers developed an experimental optical fiber with four cores. Billions of tax credits were sent to families in America already, and an attempted terrorist attack at the women's hospital in Liverpool also went on earlier this week. 600 million birds were lost in Europe over the past 40 years due to the human virus known as us. Five teenagers were hospitalized after shooting near Colorado High School. And the U.S. says that Russia performed a dangerous test with missile in space. They're quite alarmed. China says that the U.S. is playing with fire with Taiwan. And retail sales are up 1.7%. Walmart stock increased 9% and Home Depot is up about the same. There was a triple bomber suicide in the capital of Uganda. And Biden and Xi had a Zoom call for three hours, but no considerable breakthroughs other than calling each other old friend. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I see your lips moving, but there's a delay. <laughs> Takes a long time for the sound to get this far. Yeah, yeah thank you, thank we appreciate you. it. There were 14% less border crossings in Mexico in October, and a record-setting rains flood the Pacific Northwest in Vancouver with back-to-back -back atmospheric rivers dubbed a once-in-500-year event. At least one died. India shut down its schools and construction sites indefinitely because of air pollution, and wildfires are out of control in parts of southern Montana and Wyoming. But check out this electric wingsuit. A Guinness World Record was broken. Jump. For me, this is a revolution in wingsuit flying. Back to China news, the second ranking general in the U.S. military has sounded the alarm about China's weapons development, warning that Beijing may soon have the capability to launch a surprise nuclear strike against America. Our guests today have made a pretty big discovery in space. How big is this thing going? I can't destroy my ex-wife's house. Is that possible? <laughs> There's a 100% chance that we're all going to die! Okay. I'm, I'm, Hey. Hey. <laughs> well, the handsome astronomer can come back anytime, but the yelling lady, mm, not, so not so much. Quote, they look like a first use weapon, unquote. General Hyten, the vice chairman and joint chief of staff, told CBS News Tuesday, quote, that's what those weapons look like to me. Locally where I live, University of Arkansas students are worried unknown individuals are stalking them, and the students say the stalker is using Apple technology to do so. The students spoke with KNWA, discovered an 
Apple AirTag attached to the front bumper of her friend's car. Creepy. The man found guilty of assassination of Malcolm X is acquitted of all charges. However, Biden, Trudeau, and Mexican president met privately, then together as a group, to discuss trade partnerships and one of the most important partnerships in the Northern Hemisphere. Unemployment claims dropped, and Kohl's was up 16%, and Macy's is gearing up for shopping season. Business as usual, but not for everyone. CVS is closing 900 stores in the next three years, but that's okay. There's a Walgreens right across the street. And it, no, no, no. Pfizer vaccine booster is now basically available for everyone 18 and older, and I'll get mine soon because I'm an essential worker. Did you forget about us? The first black woman is going to the ISS to conduct experiments, and the first woman to run the country of color as Biden handed off his power to her during a colonoscopy. Belarus decides to move its migrants to a giant warehouse because what better place to put undocumented human beings? And snowstorms up in the Northeast basically screwed everything up over the past week. Lots of cancellations and road problems. Germany is getting destroyed by COVID. The situation there is quite dramatic. Japan got an economic package with tons of money for family and small businesses. And Kamala Harris's communications director is leaving the administration because everything is messed up in her inner orbit, according to sources inside. A record number of people flew since the beginning of the pandemic for a holiday weekend. Wash your hands before you fly. And a 42-year-old ex-convict's gun went off at the Atlanta airport, sending people into panic and chaos. Okie doke, folks. That's been your November 22nd update. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Don't forget to smash the like button and smash it harder. My name is Reagan. Again, this is what's happening in the world. And as usual, I'll catch you next week with the news of the world. Have a great week. I'll talk to you later.